Hi all, today's do-it-yourself project requires a washing machine motor. Pulley. I cut it off using an angle grinder, slightly touching the shaft, but that's not a problem since its diameter is 11mm and we need 10. And this is what the shaft looks like after machining. Next, we need an adapter for the chuck with a taper on one side and a 10mm hole on the other. As shown, it fits onto the shaft. Next, we'll use a vise to press it into the chuck. Now attach the chuck to the motor, securing it with set screws. Next, we need a piece of plywood measuring 50 by 70 and also a small piece 20 by 20, which needs to be attached as shown in the video. Now place the motor on this piece and secure it using four plates with holes. Now we need several pieces of wood measuring 10 by 4 with a thickness of 2 cm, which need to be attached to each other using glue and screws. In the same way, attach this piece to the edge of the plywood, just so that it is opposite the chuck. Let's drill two holes in it. Now let's take a thrust bearing with an inner diameter of 8mm and secure it. In order for us to see at what revolutions per minute the motor is operating, we'll attach a special sensor to it. Attach a magnet to the shaft positioned opposite the sensor. We connect wires to the motor terminal. To keep the wires from getting in the way, we'll secure them with cable ties. With that done, the motor can now be covered using the plywood housing I made. Let's ensure nothing hinders the rotation. Let's screw on these little sides. This will be the housing where all the electronics will be placed. And to connect the motor, we'll need a board to control the speed. We fasten the board with self-tapping screws, placing plastic spaces underneath it. Now connect the wires as shown in the diagram. We will also need a 12 volt transformer, which will be used to power the taco sensor. I made a cover out of fiberboard, in which we need to install the sensor panel, a power button and a variable resistor that we will use to adjust the speed. I also made a hole for the LED. Connect the wires, switches and panel from the tachometer sensor.
That's it, now screw the cover on. Now you can put the knob on the variable resistor. Now let's take a small piece of wooden slat and drill a hole on both sides with a 9mm drill bit. You need to hammer a furniture nut of 8mm into the hole. This is how everything should turn out. Now let's take another piece of plywood, 70 by 30 in size and screw the slot with the nuts to it. From the plywood's back we mark the hinge spots and screw them in. Now we attach this plywood piece to the motor. Just screw the bolts into the nut. Screw the motor housings onto a small plank, the reason will become clear later. Drill a 0.236 inches hole in the wooden piece under the support bearing. Insert the bolt into the hole and tighten it with a nut. And next, we will need a piece of 50mm sewer pipe and plywood from which we need to cut out two circles using a hole saw. Clamp the circle in a drill and shape it so that it fits inside the pipe. Insert a piece of 0.315 inches threaded rod, longer than the pipe, through a circle placed inside the pipe. And after that, fill the pipe completely with sand, packing it down well. From the other side, also put a circle and tighten all of this using a washer and nuts. Now you need to stick several strips of double-sided tape to the pipe. Then stick sandpaper onto the tape. And this is the sanding drum we've got. Now you can clump it in the chuck and the thrust bearing. Put the protective cover on top, which you can connect the vacuum cleaner to for dust removal. And now let's move on to testing the machine we've built. With the help of bolts, we adjust the height of the drum for different board sizes. Now we turn it on and set the speed. This motor starts at around 3000 and can do even more. Check the description for a link on where to buy one like it.
The homemade device performs its task well. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, comment, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Thank you all for watching and goodbye everyone.